Hello Twin Flames, this is Victoria and I'm here with the Daily Energy Check. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm in Simiu uh, in Big Island of Hawaii and we can actually see some of the Simiu. <laughs> it's actually ocean view to the precise but that's what the place is called. So today is going to be a classic read. Been gone for a couple of days but uh, I did have a great time celebrating my birthday with my friends in two different locations on the island and um, yeah, I was busy on the road and just uh, catching up on different things but here we go, I'm back, it's a new week and I'm excited because this week I'm going to be recording horoscopes for me for my other channel Mindful Bamboo so make sure that you check that out there's a handle in the description box and of course you can just search for Mindful Bamboo alright, let's get started I'm starting with the whispers of the ocean since I am by the ocean I decided why not I haven't used this deck for a few days now maybe it's time hope you guys are doing great we had some intense events last week with the eclipse the new moon in Aries I just hope that you were able to navigate through those and make the most out of it because it's a very potent energy for new beginnings and for manifesting what you want. I sure did considering I had the first day and you know so many extra reminders to make a wish to you know what are you wishing for what are your goals for next year because it's the beginning of my personal year right so naturally it just works out that way. Okay, so for the feminines, we have card number three, in the light of the moon. Very interesting, I was just talking about it. We actually had, just had a new moon, it's a full moon in the card, but you know what? We will have the full moon next week. So yeah, I know time flies. That's gonna be full moon in Scorpio, so just, you know, it's gonna be a wild race, let's put it that way, but a wild ride. Um, but if you play your cards right, you may find yourself with a Scorpio energy, you may find new opportunities and new ways to transform your life, your whole life. The full moon can shine light on what you have been resisting. This could be anything from your fears to your soul's beauty. So if some of you are hiding your soul's beauty, your gifts, your uh, potential, um, your power your birthright and for some reason that came to me the birthright concept and that means that you're not just dishonoring yourself in, when you're doing that you're dishonoring your ancestors who have passed on this these giftings and these opportunities to you so even more reasons to revisit that and the full moon will provide you that opportunity, but you don't have to wait till then, obviously. <laughs> you know, um, there are all kinds of techniques and ways that you can dive into it. And the most obvious one, like the one on the surface, is to look at your emotional state. What is triggering you? What is bothering you these days, right? Go from that. What kind of emotions do you have? Even like that. Sometimes we are sad, but we can't pinpoint why. Right? But when you can pinpoint what kind of emotion you're experiencing, that's already a start. And you can work your way from there. What do we have for Divine Masculines? Now, there's still a road around here, so you may be hearing uh, some cars occasionally, but it shouldn't be too bad. Alright, so the Masculines have card number 35. Which is help appears in various ways. Masculines have been getting this card lately a lot. There is much support for you. I mean, not just this card, but this concept. There is much support for you. Sometimes you may get so adrift you forget to look to the support systems that are with you continually. Right? So this is the time and nudge to look at the support systems. Sorry, you'll have to. <laughs> To look at the support systems available to you 
and another another side of it not like if you're actively being offered that support do not say no too, too quickly even if it's something unusual for you like the source of support or who is giving it to you or certain conditions just revisit what you're looking for sound good bad why maybe negotiate the terms but do not say no because this is the universe's way to say that you know right now you can use help and we're sending you help okay let's see what's going on with the twins right now the feminine we have knight of cups and if we clarify Three of Cups, anything else? Five of Swords and the Chariot. Okay. For the masculine, we have the Emperor, very fitting considering we just came out of the uh, Aries and Aries season, and the Emperor is that uh, integrated masculine Page of Cups. Anything else? Four of Swords. Okay, so let's look at the current energies. For the Feminine, we have Knight of Cups as the main uh, main card, and then Five of Swords, Three of Cups, and the Chariot. So, uh, Divine Feminine is kind of in a rush to to express love. Could be to a masculine, could be to someone else important in your life. The important part is here that like the intention is is pure but the implementation may not be you know like we can see also that there is this rush first of all right wanting to be ahead of the game or ahead of competitors or whatever else it might mean like not wanting to be too little too late another one there's five of swords here so it's almost like You want to express it before you change your mind if it makes sense and with the mercury retrograde and progress at fast speed i would say it kind of makes sense yeah because especially being the light workers and very much aware of our surrounding and our state we may not want to necessarily communicate all our feelings and emotions if we feel like it's not gonna go well or we're in an unbalanced state or we have some fears or whatever right but it's not it's not really that black and white let's put it that way right and you can make it a gathering you can make it a reunion you can make it something that will unite you two and that's what it's supposed to be so look for ways to um, frame the communication so it becomes a reason to unite motivation to unite to uh, collaborate to celebrate you know to find commonalities rather than differences and then for the masculine we have the emperor clarified by page of cups and four so here page of cups the emperor is not realizes they're not like they are in the emperor energy they're not that great at expressing themselves right only a page and this person look at the card <laughs> this girl is looks pretty confused like it's it's like you know like making tea she's making tea and the kettle is um not the kettle sorry the pot is on her head it's not the way to make tea right so it's like over complicating things or overthinking them or protecting your heart too much right it's like being at that initial level of uh, sharing and expressing yourself there's a lot to learn that's what the emperor realizes another part is no matter how powerful they are they need to rest they need to replenish their energy and right now it's that time so they've been worn out by trying to do it on their own by not using the help by not trusting the signs and the guides uh, trying to white knuckle it and it's getting it like it's having a toll on them right it's taking a toll on them now they need to give that quality time to themselves to show themselves some self-love 
self-care, getting a good amount of sleep, nutritious food, you know, those things that seem simple but get overlooked a lot. Okay, let's see what the connection energy is like. So we have 10 of wands, 3 of wands, and the star. Yeah, so there is a big desire for the twins. And actually, 3 of wands is like the is like a, a sister card of the star, but in the minor arcana. Like it's like a more specific detailed implementation. So like if the star is the big goal, the 3 of wands would be uh, specific milestones, right? Specific events that need to happen. So it makes things harder, it makes things go slower, it um, complicates uh, the idea of trust, trust in the universe, trust in yourself, trust in your twin flame, right? We're talking about the connection. There is the understanding of common goal, of being able to change the world, to um, be the light, to bring something beautiful you know, for other people to create legacy, right? But there are these complications. And notice that this is the major arcana. This is from the universe, right? This is like that message, that big download from the universe. These are things that the twins like create through their human experience, right? Both the burdens and the intentions for doing something differently, basically. For bringing some innovation into their life. That's the star energy on a human level, right? What can I do to make a difference, right? What can I do today to bring my myself closer to the big goal? So good effort, good intentions will take a while still because of that 10 of ones that is still being processed. It's like I'm getting this concept of, I don't know why, but like, like this is wood for, for fire, right? But because there's a lot of it and it's not very dry, like you can see the blooms on it. It will burn, but it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a minute. Okay, uh, I didn't bring the Hermit Tarot deck for the messages, but I will actually do, since we do have some time, I will pull some cards from the Witch's Tarot deck. Uh, first, let's see what we have for messages from DMs to DFs. Ooh, nice. Ace of Wands, Karma, and Four of Wands. Wow. Oh my goodness. And look at that. You have to see this guys closer. The Karma card, which is the Judgment card, actually has the Eclipse here. You see it? And that's exactly the Eclipse that we had on um, Wednesday last week. It's called the Hybrid Eclipse. But, well, this one actually is called Annular, where there is like this brim of sunlight around the moon. Wow. Enlightenment with the eclipse. Understanding how much passion uh, they have for you, really. Understanding how much you mean for their life long term, right? For once, you break it down. It's like, it's this vision, like, it's not just for a minute or it's not. You know, it's not just something that I got passionate about this instant, right? And it's gonna burn out. It's strong, but you know, it burns out with time, like it did with any other karmic partner before, right? But no, this is like this vision, like this person is here to stay in my life, right? I can see that clearly. And it's only a matter of time to figure out the details, when, who, how, right but this is someone really special really important to me okay let's see what we have for from feminines to masculines king of cups 
yeah, the masculine is basically saying that they're still mastering the courage to speak of their feelings and emotions. They are aware of them. The high, the high priest is the higher friend. They're, they're very smart. They're very, they are visionary. They are aware of what's going on. So, oh, sorry, this is actually divine feminines to masculines. So the feminine is very much aware of what's going on, right? The good and the bad and the ugly, right? Emotionally wise, first of all, right? The king of cups is the master of emotional intelligence. But it's almost like, yeah, the feminine can see that from this hierophant perspective, from this high priest perspective, right? That it's not quite the time. And if things are being preserved, are being kept down under, it is for a good reason. And the main thing is that it's gonna unlock a certain chain of events that will make the union problematic, in fact. Although, you know, it's good intentions, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna end well. In the meantime, the feminists focusing on mission and bringing important messages to the community, to the public, to their audience, right, with mission, utilizing that capacity of sacral chakra energy to create something beautiful for people who need that now, right? It's like this wisdom of prioritizing based on how much goodness can your energy bring, right? Depending on where you pour it into, right? And understanding that when it comes to the masculine, they need, and that's also the emotional intelligence, they need to go through what they're going through, right? They need to get through that experience by themselves. That's going to be the most valuable lesson. That's going to be something that will stick to them, that will live with them, right? Like they're processing that information, like that part about seeing this as a long-term commitment is realizing how much passion is there how much they're actually learning from the feminine right there's that karma card which is really judgment card right how much karma is being released and um, clarify it really right not all of it will just disappear um, and there are still some karmic contracts that will be playing you know probably till the end of our lifetime but um, this brings a lot more clarity and understanding how it works, thanks to this connection. And uh, this is, right now, this is mind-blowing to them. So it will take a minute to process. And they need that space and a bit of privacy to do that well. Okay, I think I'm gonna end it here. Thank you so much for joining me. The car is just reminding me that, yep, it was so good to do this video for you guys thank you so much for joining me today i love you all